Let's now jump into the next hormone, very popular in Kenya, Depo, Depo Provera, okay? So it contains uh, 150 milligrams of a hormone called DMPA, that is the port medroxyprogesterone acetate, that is injected every three months. And we know why it's injected. It's, it's, an, it's actually a syringe injection, yeah, that is injected either in the arm, here, or at the buttock. So every three months, okay? And it's, why is it very popular in Kenya? Because it's a method whereby it's very easy to get. You don't have to go queue so much or get any, anybody special to do it for you. Anybody who knows how to inject can inject it. And another thing why it's very popular is that it, it's found everywhere, even in the villages, because it doesn't need any special storage, no refrigeration, nothing, you know? No theater required for it. So it's just as long as you have the depth, you know, and, the, and then you have a syringe and a needle, done yeah that's why it's very popular and again it's very popular because there's no sign that you have it's really people who are trying to hide family planning and you know family planning is still a big stigma in our society especially for young girls who are not married so they will go get it injected because there's no sign you know at least with the implants you can somebody can palpate and see it and see like a little scar in your inner arm you know but with the depot, it's an injection, nobody knows, you just walk. And it's really women who are trying to hide uh, its use to their husbands, then, yeah, I'm just being real. Nobody will know that you are on any injection. That's why it's very common. So how is it given? If you're using it for the first, first time ever, you should ideally get it in the first five days of your period, okay? Like from the day of your menstrual cycle, that is from day one to day five. If not, you can still use it any time, but if you use it at any other time, then you need a one-week backup of family planning, like a condom, yeah? For one week, till it starts working, and just to avoid getting pregnant, maybe you're crossing into your fertile window when it's, you know, immediately after injection, then it might not work at that time. So if you're using it for the first, first time ever, first five days of the of the period. If not, you can, inject, you can get it injected anytime, but use like a condom for that first one week, okay? But if you are, it's a continuous use, the day that it's expired, you can get another one given the same day. And then another, another thing why it's very common is that it does not suppress breastfeeding. So mothers who are breastfeeding, then they're usually very free to use it. So, Depo, it's not, okay, it's, it might be very popular among among our people, but it's not very popular among doctors. Like, if you come to my clinic, I will not really recommend it as the first family planning method to go to. Why? Why is it not very popular? One thing is that, okay, it, as, as like any other progestin, progesterone, it can cause abnormal bleeding, or some women have blood bleeding at all. That's not an, an issue that's, you know, depends on how the women respond to but why many doctors don't like it is that one it can cause prolonged suppression of production of eggs okay so if you use it for a very long time and then you know you want to get pregnant it might be a problem resuming ovulation to be able to get pregnant so prolonged use can suppress ovulation it's like that it reaches a point where you need help to be able to get pregnant okay and so if a woman comes to me, maybe she got her first child at the age of 36, she wants a family planning method, and then she wants to just settle things very quick and get another child because, because of the advanced age, then I wouldn't recommend Depo. Because what if we use it and then the time you really want to get pregnant because, you know, menopause is not so many years away, and then you have suppressed ovulation. I wouldn't recommend it for women who want to get pregnant efficiently and very quick after cessation of a family planning use. And then the other thing is that it causes a weakening of the bones. So it decreases bone mineral density if used for continuously for a period of two years, okay? And you know, this effect is usually actually highest in those first two years. So if you come to me and you're an adolescent, a teenager, I would not recommend it because as a teenager, you are still growing, your bones are growing, Okay, so if you, if you suppress your bone strength or bone mineral density, then what are you causing, what are you doing to your growth? So if you come to me, you're in form two, you're in form one, you're in class eight, I would not recommend depot. Then another thing is that uh, because of this decrease in bone mineral density, if you come to me and you are perimenopausal, so like you have let's say 46, 47, to approaching towards menopause, I would not recommend it. Because menop menopause itself, 
causes a weakening of bones, right? So if you're going to use to 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 start to start initiating decrease in bone strength even before the menopause, then you're going to have like double decrease in bone strength once you reach once you hit menopause. So if you're a woman of advanced age, no, I wouldn't recommend it because it's going to affect your bones. However, the big societies in the world they say that this should not be a reason to stop its use if a woman cannot have any other method that that uh, that responds well to their bodies, or they don't have any other method available. So if the worst case is the worst, you can still use it. It wouldn't stop it, its use because of the issue of bone mineral density. But if you can have another method that you can use, then I would recommend you to switch and not use it for so long, for more than two years. Okay. And then let's remember, like once you lose bone strength because of depot, depot use for like two years continuously, it takes five years for the bone strength to come back right However, then ma the major major issue with depot is that it causes water retention in the body so this leads to significant weight gain so that's what we have seen and we have all seen women who use depot they have a very quick you know weight gain or there's a big big difference when you're using depot from when you're not using depot so yeah there's an increase weight gain and difficulty in losing weight with depot use okay however it is still has its own advantages and as i said one of the advantages is that nobody will know that you are on any family planning so if you're avoid, trying to avoid the stigma of family planning then it's a good method it's very easy to use available in the market in, in the villages everywhere and i think in some some facilities whereby they don't have hospitals then you can even get it injected in a nursing center or even in a in a chemist if they are approved to do that then another thing is that it also reduces ovary and uterine cancers however it may inc it increases breast cancer like two times right so that's one thing you need to know about depot so i would recommend people to use it's still a method that can be used but use uh, like just know just know the contraindications just know the disclaimers about this method of use most doctors are not very they, they don't really recommend it so much but it's still a very common method and a very popular method okay thank you very much keep watching next i'm going to do i'm going to do the pills and i think that's something that many people have been asking me questions about and I'll still respond to those questions, but there have been so many questions on the pill use. What can it use? What can it be used? Can it reduce acne? I'll answer all these questions in the next video. Thank you very much.